First, from the CDC show, more than 100,000 people died from drug overdoses last year. And as those numbers surge, local police have a warning about counterfeit prescription drugs that have been circulating in our community. They say some of these pills have been laced with fentanyl, and three people have actually died because of these pills. Fox 59's Max Lewis tells us what you should be on the lookout for tonight. They're prescription drugs that are commonly used, Oxycontin, Percocet, Vicodin, and Xanax. But Fisher's police are warning that the pills they've been seeing are not what they appear to be. One pill in a bottle may be, give someone a high. Uh, another pill in the same bottle can be uh, uh, instant death. Last month, the department seized more than 25,000 counterfeit pills. They're made to look like real prescription drugs, but they don't come from a licensed pharmacy, and some have tested positive for lethal levels of fentanyl. Sometimes these folks might think they're taking a Xanax, or they might think they're taking a, a Vicodin, when in fact it's a counterfeit that is straight up fentanyl, and it, it's deadly. In recent months, three young adults have died after taking the phony pills. Captain Mike Johnson says they're worried this trend will trickle into even younger crowds. Johnson says these drugs are mostly ordered through social media apps and they're accessible to anyone and everyone. The old adage of a drug dealer in a dark alley somewhere isn't really the case so much anymore. Fisher's PD says this is not just happening here. They say it's a dangerous and deadly trend that is touching communities across central Indiana and across the country. New data from the CDC shows overdose deaths have risen by nearly 30% across the country, 32% here in Indiana. Madison County Prosecutor Rodney Cummings has seen it firsthand in his community. The drug dealers are trying to make money and they, they don't really care what happens to the people on the other end of that. Captain Johnson says parents need to be vigilant and people should simply stay away from pills that aren't prescribed to them. In Fishers, Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. Max, thanks. Fishers police say they're trying to get ahead of this problem before it reaches area high schools. We've got more information on what you can look out for on our website at fox59.com.